if you're trying to get more flexible, then this is the class for you. I'm Leah from Lacora Yoga and welcome to my channel. You can click the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every time a new class comes out. And I help yogis or anybody really to gain confidence on the mat and to reach their yoga pose goals. So welcome to this quick 10 minute class and let's get started. Welcome to our short yoga class to help you with your forward fold. So we're going to start at the top of our mat today, feet hips distance apart, into Dasana pose. Just take a nice big inhale and exhale through the nose. And let's begin with a sun salutation. So let's inhale, sweep the arms up above your head. Exhale with length in the spine, folding forward, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now stay in your forward fold. Take a couple of breaths here. Remember to bend your knees as much as you need to. And then very slowly, let's just roll all the way up to standing. Vertebra by vertebra. Head is the last thing to come up. And reverse, slowly roll down now. So tuck the chin, start rounding the back. Arms go heavy, slight bend in the knees. Come all the way down. Bend your knees even more into your forward fold. Next exhale, start rising all the way back up again. Slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Until you come back up to the top. Next exhale. Slowly rolling all the way back down. Take an inhale and an exhale here. Then bend your knees as much as you need to so your hands can plant on the ground. Right leg is going to step all the way back. Let's come into a low lunge. So you can keep your hands on the mat here or you can come up onto your knee. It's completely up to you. Just try to make sure that there's length in the spine. Left knee comes back to meet the right. Hover over your hands. Vinyasa on your knees, lower chin and chest. Come through into baby cobra so your belly's still on the mat. Then push back up onto your knees. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Belly to thighs and hips to sky. Bend the knees as much as you need to here. Maybe paddle out the legs if it's your first downward facing dog of the day. Then feet together at the back of the mat, right leg lifts up high. Place your right foot in between your hands at the top of your mat. Lower the left knee. Lengthen through the spine. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Come up off of the knee. Do a couple of rocks and rock it forward to meet the right in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Bend the knees, sweep the hands all the way up to standing. Hands together. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up above your head. Exhale, folding forward. Now I want you to just heel toe your feet to mat's distance apart. So just slightly, slightly wider than your hips. Grab opposite elbows. Slight bend in the knees and just dangle here. Just really releasing the whole upper body. Maybe rocking sideways. Very slowly, side to side. Then releasing the hands to the mat. Maybe heel toe your feet a tiny bit wider. Bend into them knees. And just, we're going to do gorilla pose. So you kind of just let your body dangle, bounce up and down, side to side. Kind of like how a gorilla would act. 
just really rocking out into them hips and into the backs of them legs. You can straighten your legs as much as you want to here. But if you are still feeling something with your knees really bent, leave your knees bent. Just want to be feeling something. Just bouncing up and down, rocking side to side. And then heel toe in your feet back in to your forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you can, hands on the mat, left foot steps back, lower the left knee, low lunge. Maybe this time you raise the hands up above your head. Make sure you're pulling your left hip forward and your right hip back just so that your hips are facing the front of your mat. Exhale, hands to the mat, right foot steps back, chaturanga, lower chin and chest, come through. Maybe this time into a higher cobra. Your hips are still on the floor in a higher cobra. Your elbows are hugging in towards your side. Exhale, come back onto your knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Feet together at the back of the mat, left leg raise up, raises up high. Bring the left foot in between your hands, lower the right knee. Again, you can raise the hands up above your head. Just make sure the hips are facing forward. Fingertips come down to the mat. Right foot rocks up to meet the left in a forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Bend the knees, sweep the hands all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, folding forward. Now this time, bend your knees as much as you can so your fingertips touch the mat. And then we're gonna try to straighten the left leg. And as you do, the left hand is gonna reach up to the ceiling. So we've got like a a little twist on the left hand side here, or down the left leg. You can stay looking straight ahead or you can look up to that left hand. If you find this too difficult, this leg can stay bent, your left leg can stay bent, or you can bring your hand up onto a block or anything else that you've got lying around the house. Release the left hand, bend back into the left knee, try to straighten the right, knee, right leg and bring the right hand up to the ceiling. Focus on your breath. Release the right hand down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, plant both of the hands. Step both feet back, chaturanga or lower the knees. Halfway, cobra or up dog. Up dog is just your hands and your feet on the mat. Back to downward facing dog. And try to push your heels down to the mat today. So we're working on our forward fold. We need some length in the back of the legs. But as you push your heels down to the mat, push your belly towards your thighs. So it's as if you're trying to push your chest really far, like in between your hands. Couple breaths here. And then lowering the knees nice and wide on the mat, toes together. Sit your bum back, hands come out in front. Rest in child's pose. Releasing the whole upper body. And slowly walking your hands back up, you can bring the knees together. We're going to take the left hand behind the back and the right hand is going to come up over your head and just lift your hips up just to open the front of that body after all that fold, forward folding. 
and lower back down, right hand comes behind, left hand comes up above your head as you lift your hips up. And coming back down. And if you'd like to take a Shavasana, you can do so now. But that is the end of our class today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's class. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you're already feeling a difference just in them 10 minutes. If you would like to work a little bit further with me, you can check out Fledgling Yogi, my signature course in the description below, where we work on the five main poses to improve your entire practice. So you can check out that. I'll leave a link and all the information down below. If you haven't done so, I would love it if you could subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And you can let me know in the comments if you'd like to work on any other poses. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.